everybody it's Angela here again today how are you all doing I hope you had a lovely weekend we had a long weekend and I know yesterday in the US it was um, Mother's Day so um, a happy Mother's Day to all of you yesterday um, I know in the UK we had ours at the end of March and it was really tough because like yourselves we're in lockdown and that's never easy anyway um, I'm here today to bring you another exciting envelope. Um, this time it's using a brown envelope. Um, and what I've tried to do here is um, try to emanate a type of a brown paper bag type of effect. Um, and what I thought was, if I had to take a page um, uh, in your journal, um, this would fit in like that. Obviously you'd have other pages here and it would fit across pages. So it like makes a nice layering effect when you have different sized pages and things. So um, you would open it up like that, you'd have something there, um, and then that would obviously see on the other side of that page when you get to that section. Yeah, so that's what I'm working on today. Now, um, just to show you quickly how it looks, um, we I've done a lot a bit of layering here today so I'm going to show you how I do some layering um, and the papers we'll get to that in a minute so this is the front if you can see that um, a beautiful pinks and peaches um, and creams in here with a little touch of green so that's what I've used there and I really love these colors and then in the um, side pocket here which you can see I've used my pinking shears you've got a pocket in there um, and I've just made a tag um, with from some of the paper that we're going to use today and um, put on a label stitched it put some uh, seam binding and that can go in there so that would just peek out like that, which looks really sweet. And then when you open that up, you've got um, the inside of that um, now type of pocket envelope um, with a label, um, which I've made into a pocket uh, and just a little label, a little card that tucks in over here as well. Never works when you want to do this. There we go. All right, and then on this side, we've got an, the other inside, which we've just done some minimal layering there because I think that's such a pretty picture. I love the colors of that. And then on the back of this, some more layering. So we've got a couple of bits and pieces going on here and another little um, tag that goes in to the pocket over here. So that's what we're going to make. So it's not too difficult. I think the most difficult thing for people sometimes is working on layering. So I thought I'd take you through that step by step. Um, and this would be just another easier idea for you to use in your journals and give it some layer, some layering and texture, really. OK, so the first thing that we want is an envelope. It doesn't have to be brown. I've got brown envelopes, so if you've got a recycled brown envelope you can use. It doesn't matter if it has a window or not. You could use the window or you could cover it up. So if you've got one of those, recycle that. OK, um, I don't have any this size at the moment. You could use a bigger one as well. So it doesn't have to be this size, but I will give you the dimensions of this. Um, Right, so this is the envelope that I am using. Uh, it is about eight and a half or 22 centimeters long and 11 or four and a half, nearly just short of four and a half wide. So that's what I'm gonna use today. And that's what I've got. So using what we have. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is we want to seal it because we're not going to need that for anything. So you can, let's see, what do I want to use? You can lick it <laughs> or pull the tab off or whatever it is that you have. But for um, camera, I'm not licking this. I don't like the taste of it anyway, so um, we won't be doing any of that. So push that down like that. And that's the envelope sealed. Now, for us, um, what I did, because I wanted a paper bag sort of look for it, I have just taken my pinking shears and I am going to take off a little bit off the end here. 
like that on both sides so we'll do that here as well and that just gives it a paper bag effect you could even use this with paper bags if you've got um, some available right so uh, there we have what we're going to um, this the the base of what we're going to use that's the word i was looking for so just grab my bone folder here and we are going to fold that in half so just match those up and make sure you've got that nice and flat like that okay so that's going to be the base of what we're going to use so i'm just going to put that to the side for a moment and talk you through some of the pages that i've used for this now um what i've got here are the pages that i've used for today's project now these come from antique papery you know i'm a huge fan of theirs this particular kit i've printed um two to a page um for so i could get the the flowers small um, if you're not sure how to do that when you pick when you choose a page to print and you look down on your computer now I've got a Mac so it'll be different to um, uh, a Windows based computer but it says to me how many images per page and on mine I can choose one two four six nine or twelve so I've chosen two and then it automatically will size two onto the page Somebody did ask me that, so that's why I'm mentioning it. All right, so that's the way I get two of these to a page. It asks me if I want to have it borderless, non-borderless, or whatever else it wants to do. In this case, I haven't chosen the borderless feature. So two of these per page. Now, this set is called Penelope, and I absolutely love it because it's the peaches, the pinks, the creams, the beautiful um, watercolour dye marks, and I just love this kit very much. So that's one of the pages. There are three pages in this particular kit. This is the other page, which is also two to a page. Beautiful. I love that. And the golds. And the, oh, I just love the way Sherry does her designs. And then another thing I'm going to be using in the kit um, are these, which are called Watercolour Papillon. This is quite a, um, I love this, beautiful for cards, beautiful for postcards, journal cards. I've printed, again, two sets per page, so they're smaller, but you can have them bigger. There's usually eight in there, so that's the other thing. And then this is the third page in that Penelope, which I've printed six per page. And this is what I'm going to use for uh, the actual tags that are going to go in there. So that's how I make them smaller. And again, with this. Now, I've got some exciting news to tell you because um, Sherry did um, discuss with me and we've put together a collaboration, myself and her. Um, and I have used quite a few of the older kits um, that aren't no, aren't available anymore, but they are now available. And what she's done is she's put together two separate design kits um, and in her store that will be available for the whole year. Now, the design kits, um, there are two, as I said. The one has 42 pages, all the designs that I usually use when I'm making my um, tutorial so you've got your botanicals your Daphne your Ella Fleur your Penelope um, these um, watercolor papillons the wildlings the um, Nagasaki the nestlings everything that wasn't available is now available now there are two kits so go and have a look it tells you a full breakdown um, and you will not believe the price if I tell you this sounds like a commercial but honestly it's not it's the truth um, the one has 42 pages, the other has 47 pages, but each kit is only going to cost you £1.50. Or if you're paying in dollars, it's going to cost you, I think at today's exchange rate, $1.85, which is crazy for 42 or 47 pages. Collectively, for £3 or um, $3.70 or odd, you're going to get 89 design papers that is an absolute bargain 
So go and get that bargain while the bargain is on. Uh, it's on sale for 70% off at the moment. So please rush over and go and have a look. You, These are the best, um, in my opinion, they are the best um, designs that um, I've seen from her at the moment. They're all the ones I have and all the ones that, um, that I use on an ongoing basis. So you absolutely cannot go wrong. Rush over there, pause the video, go and see what you can get that right now before it's gone um well she did say to me it will be available for the year so it won't be gone but get the good price i mean that's phenomenal all right so enough of that but yeah i think to me to 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 everybody that is the best value ever so um that's what i'm using today um from those kits which i had anyway so um i suggest that you guys go and get that if you like to follow along um lots of those kits were discontinued because they'd sold out so she's put those together there for us so that's amazing thank you sherry right so that's what we're going to use um and as i say we're going to be making this which is just very girly but um it's what i felt like doing layering up today so um get hold of your envelope and i'm going to take you through what it is that we need to do so let's start with the front over here um, and the, the page that i used straight away um, was this one over here um, and the piece that i have cut out is this piece down at the bottom over here so you can see where i've come from there so that's it over there so that would depend on obviously the size of your envelope if you're making a bigger one but i'm just giving you an idea of what i'm doing um and that's it doesn't go straight to the end because we're going to put some layers on anyway all right so that's the first thing um then what we're going to do is the other week we were working on botanicals um with the, the mo flowers this is an off cut that I've used from the edge of that. So I like this because of lovely beige cream latte shades here. And I'm going to um, position this over here. This is just a bit too long. So we'll just take that little bit off there. Um, okay, so we're gonna have that like that. It doesn't matter if it goes over because that's nice. It, it gives it a nice rustic look okay so i don't know how me i like rustic but i like neatness too so i'm a bit sad but anyway <laughs> right so we're going to do that there so and then we're going to i've got a piece of pink uh, wallpaper scrap here that i'm going to put over here so that is going to go like that i'm going to start sticking some of these down in a minute um and then what i've done is i've found um some labels now these labels you might not have seen before i had never heard of this lady but i wanted pastel shade labels um i like tracy's labels but she doesn't do pastels and pinks and things that um hers are quite primary color base so i found this beautiful set of labels which i will show you okay so i have cut some of these out um, but you can see these are beautiful the pink ones are, i've cut out beautiful light tones i just love this this is called chapter one papers um also from etsy and i have used quite a lot of these um and this is how they look so you get the smaller ones that's how the page was i didn't make it smaller beautiful shapes um so just some lovely extra designs and i have cut out these two from there which we're going to use on the front and i do use these quite a few uh, places as well so that's what's going to go on over here so let's get sticking with some of the stuff we need to stick so the first thing i managed to get hold of distrex oxide so for all of you i know carol recommended this to me um thank you carol so i'm going to just very lightly and i've done i have inked most of this project but i just noticed that i hadn't done this bit here all right i'm not going to do the side it's going to be covered and then just a bit of it there the rest was done so we'll put that up there okay so we're going to need to stick this down i think for my purposes today i'm going to use the art glitter glue and i'm going to just go around and stick this down now minimum sewing today 
So you'll be glad to know about that. All right, so we have got the first piece down. And the thing I don't like about this glitter glue, it's like very quick to set. So you've got to be super fast. Okay, so there's the first bit down. Now what we want to do is take the scrap. Now remember, this has got to go into your spine, into your signature. You're going to stitch there. You don't want anything to go beyond this line here. But this line and this line are fine. So that's just stating the obvious, I suppose. But I thought I'd mention it. <laughs> okay, so if you're going to go off the edge of the page, be mindful of that as well. Right. See, I can say all these things because I learned the first time <laughs> when I'm mocking it up. So I just sound like I know what I'm doing, but really, you know, it's trial and error for me as well. Right, so that's that. And that's that. All right. So I'm trying to keep um, things away from that beautiful peach and pink um, rose over there. Right, now we want this bit as well. So... Just color up that edge a little bit. Oops. Um, and then we will put that down. Okie dokie. So we'll have that going at the top there, like that. Okay. And now we want to use our two labels. Um, um, and then the other thing is I cut out one of those watercolour papillons, so the bottom one, this one I think is so pretty. So um, what I've decided to do is I am going to have this one up there like that. I'm going to have this one like that, just peeking through, and then we're going to plonk that down over there. All right, so... The first thing I did was um, put a bit of glue on the, the top bit here, just so that I could position this way I wanted it before I put it down. So I wanted it like that. Okay, and then we want to do the rest over there. Don't worry if it goes further, it's all going to stick down anyway. And then we want to get that like that. Now we don't want to um, get it to cover up the rows too much. So that's why I'm just checking. Let's see. That was a bit too much. It's just giving me an idea here, right? Okay, now that looks about right. So now I'll just glue the rest of that. What are you all been up to? Have you done anything nice this weekend? And how did you cope with not being able to see all the family over Mo uh, Mother's Day? Because, I mean, for me, I was quite sad about that, really. Um, that was quite something, quite um, depressing, really. Okay, so let's get that over there. I think I'm quite happy with that over there. Okay, and then what we want to do now is oh, maybe a bit higher, Angela. A little bit higher. Yeah, that's better. Okay, and then what I'm going to do now is um. I'm just, I was going to put this piece under, but really I have should have stuck that piece first. So let's just pull that up. Not very good, is it? But <laughs> we live and learn. That's the thing about layers. I always, I, I usually take them off in the order that I'm going to plonk them down. But I was a bit slack today. All right, so we want that to come down like that and we better put some more glue on this section okay 
here. It's forgiving. It's forgiving. There we go. All right. So now what we want to do is I've got a little bit of a scrap here that I've just sewn into a little bit of a um, concertina type thing. Um, and I'm going to now get my act together before I stick it down. So what I want to do here is I've, I've got these little die cuts that I got on eBay years ago so um i don't even know what they they didn't even have a brand so somewhere from china so i'm gonna put one of these just sort of like that i'm gonna cover it with this and so, so it's sticking out from there um then i'm going to I've got two of my little die cuts from the Tim Holtz Sizzix dies, which are all the wildflowers. I'm going to arrange these and this one, sort of like this and this. So I wanted that one this side and I wanted that one that side. So something like that. Um, and I wanted a green bit, but I think I'm going to put the green bit underneath. So it's just sort of, so we'll have that over there, that over there. All right, so let's get that those two stuck down. So the first thing is, let's just move that out the way. So I'm going to get this one stuck down first. I like this little green um, foliage type one. I do use it a lot, but I, for the life of me, I don't know where I got it from. Right, so we've got that one that's going to just pop over there like that. And then this one, which we want to put down before we put the little um, folded, pleated piece of paper down now you could use a, a bit of fabric in this as well that would be really nice too so I'd, i'm very mindful of the edge there so let's just stick it like that all right and then we'll stick this one down uh, these um, pieces of pleated paper that you've sewn these are really great to use up all your scraps so I do recommend that most definitely so let's get that down over there like that okay and then what we want to do is we want to get our two um, so let's think now I'm gonna have the other one underneath so let's place this one on first so that the lavender bit goes on the top my fingers are so full of glue and ink and oh my goodness now remember you can always cut off the lengths of the stems um, so don't feel that you have to use the whole length I let it stick out and then chop it off at the end um, so I'm happy with that one over there so you see that one is sticking off but we all deal with that at the end then we're going to put this one on the top here like that I'm not going to do it all the way because I will be chopping that off as well and then we want to just get that um, there and I'm meeting up the stems at the bottom right so we've got that all in place and then we want to get a little butterfly to go on there um what did i do with him here he is and that's going to sort of just join up over there so these come from pinterest people ask me all the time um right so that's going to go over there like that and um, we're missing our little word so i've got a little word that i stamp on all the um scraps that i trim off the pages or old book pages that i've trimmed 
which is beautifully discolored naturally anyway, or old tea paper that I'm not using. And I'm going to put that over there like that. And then I am going to use some Fabri-Tac. And I'm going to use um, this rose over here that I think um, I got from Abigail, from Handmade from Abigail. Thank you, Abby. These come from the works. Um, and this is going to go on the top of my butterfly. Okay, so... Let's stick that one over there and I really should have stuck it on last because it's quite um, raised but it gives it some nice texture so there's the front of our um, envelope already and we've got some lovely layers going on here colors um, and it's sort of mostly concentrated here and you still can see your beautiful um, papers over there so that's what that's all about and I quite like that right so while that's drying get your scissors and just trim this in line with the paper like that okay so there's that oops there's that one all done sorry okay so now what we want to do is we want to do let's do um, this page over here so what we need to do there is um, where's my right now we would have cut out this piece here i'm going to take off this piece now um so that you know i'm going to use this bit um for another page so you will have a shorter corner there which i'll show you now but i'm going to use this beautiful dyed color piece over there so let me grab it you can see it's got a little piece out of it but don't worry we'll deal with that and that's going to go over here like that okay so um i have dyed that up already and all i need to do here is stick this bit down like that So, like Let's make sure it's um, even. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Um, and now, just to cover up that section, I've just taken a scrap of of something else, and I'm I'm going to just stick that over there. And it matches with the rest of the stuff that I'm doing. And nobody's any the wiser. So, except you. <laughs> All of you. But I just love that part of the um, paper. And I do like the flower that I took off as well. So, just matching that perfectly. So, there we go there. And then what we're going to do is, now on the one I did stitch around there, you don't have to, I'm not going to in this instant, but what I'm going to do is I'm holding the side that I don't need glue on, I'm going to put glue on the other three sides so that I make this into a pocket. So we're going to just run a little bead of glue there, a little uneven bead of glue there, like that. Okay, and then we're going to try and put this as far over this way as possible. like that okay just press that down like that and that will dry and in the meantime i've got another one of these little leaf things i've just cut it out in a different color in the peachy pink shade and i'm going to just run that a uh, little bit of glue all over it okay and then we're going to just put that at an angle over there and then I had a little scrap of a ticket came from my apricot honey prima pack um, so I'm just going to stick that over there and then again another one of these oh butterflies sorry um, I'm going to just stick that on top 
just sort of bring them all together like that. Okay, okay, all right, there we go. So that's everything there. Did I get that, that straight? Okay, now all that I'm going to use this for, this is going to be the little card that slides in. So we're just going to slide that in there um, like that. So there's that page done really fast. Okay, so we're on to this page quickly now. And this is easy too. We've got this piece of paper that we're going to cut out. This one comes from this beautiful page, which is Penelope, as I said, two to a page. And as you can see, I've taken it right over there. All right. Um, just like that. So that's what we're going to use there. That way we use the most of the paper. We, we all don't need to have any more scraps than we have already. So I'm trying to use up everything that I can within a page. That's why I'm limiting myself to like two where I can. Obviously it's different if you use butterflies or labels or things because those you use all the time. But um, other than that, I try and uh, keep it um, yeah, that's it. Oh, this one's not quite straight. Let's see if I can get it straight. This is probably dangerous. Oh, it's better. Just a, uh, a sliver, but it's made it straight. Okay, so there we go. We've got that all in place. Isn't that a beautiful picture? Right, so again, we're going to use one of these labels from chapter one. I'm going to stick that down over there. But I've taken a little scrap like this. Um, again, just to bring in a bit of the pink again, and I'm going to tuck that quickly underneath there like that, and I'm going to stick that down. So let's do that first. We'll start with this one. Abby's sleeping next to me here. Just shook its ears. <laughs> Little monkey. Right. It's very tired. Chasing the ball in the house. Oh, said the B word. The eyes opened. And they say dogs aren't clever. They are so clever. They know exactly what's what, don't they? Right, so we've got that there. That's coming around. I, I didn't want to do too much there. I really love all of that with the script and the staining. I just think that's pretty. So I've got a little word, bloom. Gosh, my fingernails look awful. The whole, the whole hand looks awful. Right, and then I'm going to just stick that um, over there like that. Let's just make sure that's straight. Okay, so there's that page done. So we're getting there. So we're on to the home run now. We're going to do the back page. Um, so what I have done here is I have gone for the... We just used this bit, so we're going to use this bit now at the top there. All right, so um, let's just move that forward. Got all my bits and pieces here. Right, so the bit that I want to use for that is the top, as I said. Um, I haven't inked it yet, so I'll quickly do that. Um, go and then that can go and stick down straight away so we'll do that so get the glue out again give that a bit of a bead at the top there So let's just stick that down. OK, 
Okay, that'll do. Okay, right, so while I'm waiting um, quickly just to put it all together, I've taken, as I said to you earlier, um, this piece here, which comes from that section, we used that and we had a little notch cut out there. That comes from that section there. So that's going to go onto the page um, over there. And then again, I've taken another one of those labels from chapter one, and we're going to put that over there like that. Um, yeah, then we're going to layer that over like that. Um, and then I've got a little bit of music paper, which I am going to just put over here. Um, I've gathered up a, a little scrap from one of those pages there. In fact, I think it's this bit over here. Um, and I've sewn it and that's going to go over here. But before we do that, I've got a little stamp from my stash. Um, that's going to just go underneath there, oh, sorry, on top there, like that, yeah, um, and then that's going to go on top there like that, and I just had a, a piece from a scrap that I had from the other day, and I'm going to just put that over there, and then I'm going to put on some um, wildflowers as well, so let's get stuck in and put down some of the stuff so that will be at the end and these will be on top of those two and that will be on top of that so the first one i want to stick down will be this piece of music paper so let's do that see i'm doing it in the right order now not to make a, a situation for myself <laughs> while i'm filming Right, so this will go down. Let's just check. That's going to go there. That's going to go there. So we're going to put that there. Love this little pink dots that come through. And then, of course, the label will be next. So let's quickly do that. And I love these labels. They, they're very subtle. They're not harsh at all. They go well with my kind of pastel um, bits and pieces. So we'll have that over there. All right, and um, then comes this flowery bit that I've hand torn. Um, quite like a bit of hand torn. It gives it a nice shabby look. Okie doke. So we'll put that over there, and I'm going to just angle this a bit down like that. There we go. Um, and then the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to stick this down because this is going to, I think I'm going to have it over or do I want it under? Over. Here yeah, we'll have it over, so we'll stick this one down. A lot of choices, you know. <laughs> Lots of choices. Right, so there we go. That one will go over there. I'm just thinking, yeah, just make it close. There we go, like that. Yeah. All sorted, and then we'll get our little stamp on. These also come from chapter one, if you're wanting to know. All right, so put that over there like that. Really nice. Okay, so let's put this little word down, just like that. Mm, that looks about it. And then um, I'm just going to put on my little wildflowers now. So I've got one that looks like that in green. And again, this little leafy bit, this foliagey bit. Right, so I do love my die cuts. <laughs> right, so let's put that one down first. So grip it by its leaf and hmm, 
yeah I think I'm gonna have it right there just a little bit over and then I'm gonna stick this let's see how high I want it to go I think that'll be okay so good to work this out before the time okay so let's get this on there right I'm working on some of those journals that I um, had for my giveaway um, and I should have those finished in the next while I'll keep you posted on that and then I'll do a video and put those in my shop so um, keep posted look out for those if you were wanting one um, right so that'll go like that I've got lots going on at the moment, lots of orders as well. Oh, getting not much done at the minute. Right. Okay, so then we've got a little butterfly that we are just going to put on over here, I think. Okay. And then I will get my little, I um, don't know what happened to the pokey tool, so we'll have to use the, the next best thing, so, <laughs> which is this. Okay, so let's just grab one of these. Gosh, my fingers full of glue sorry horrendous okay so there we have that there so just to quickly have a look where we are we've got the front sorted and that's well and uh, it's very sturdy and i love those we've got the inside um we've got our other side of the inside and we have the back page all sorted as well so all that we need to do is trim this off like that um, and then it's just um, our tags so I have made the tags but I'll talk you through it quickly um, what I've done here is I've made two tags um, and they are going to go into each one of these pockets so what I did was um, as I said to you earlier grab these pages I've put six to a page, I've cut um, two off here, and that is what I've used because that was a good size to go in there easily. So I've backed that onto card, um, cut the tag shape off the corners, quite at a very short, small angle on both sides, and then I've put in a um, one of these large eyelets. Um, and some seam binding to match so that's going to go in the one and then on the other I used this and I put six of these to the page did the same thing backed it onto card so that's what I've done for that easy enough I've just taken two labels so um, cut them in half um, and put them on each side of the tags like that so I thought that just gave a little bit extra and you can write on those now so that's where it is what it's all about there so it's just a case of opening that up tucking that in i like the way it sort of peeks over with a bit of the tag and the same here and that sort of um, does the same over there and there we have it so we've got the one there and we've got the other one over here and there we have it nice additions to your journals okay ladies i hope you've enjoyed that um like i say if you've got the recycled envelopes the ones that come in the post awesome use those um i hope that this will work with any size envelope really so you know the world's your oyster here give it a go um and don't forget to go and have a look on anti papery and pick up that absolute bargain of all those pages if you buy both kits, it's 89 pages and works out for three quid if you're in the UK or if you're in, uh, paying in dollars, it's going to be like three pound 70 something.
beautiful 89 sheets of beautiful designs so that are no longer available otherwise go get that fantastic price now i mean to me that's the deal of the decade um, and come and join me and make all these lovely exciting envelopes and all the other tutorials that i have been making all right so thank you so much for sharing this with me as always i love um, spending time with you guys um, and i look forward to seeing your comments if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and press that um, bell so that you get all the notifications of um, the tutorials that I post usually on a Wednesday and a Saturday um, if I have time I post the odd one maybe on a Friday or Monday it just depends on how my week's going the moment I'm <laughs> quite busy but I try my best um, this is going to be on a Monday so hopefully um, you get to see this all tomorrow all right so looking forward to seeing you all um, enjoy your week um, make it a good one and get some crafting time in there. Thank you, everybody, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.